first of all, I'd like just to introduce what Zigu does, what Zigu's interest is, right? We help people to build their customer SLC. And what's the beauty of custom SLC? Is number one is you are unique. Nobody can mm. copy your stuff. Mm. Well, maybe they can copy, but they need to spend through millions of dollars instead of just a few hundred bucks, mm. right? That is, makes your uh, product much safer than before. So you probably have at least a few years lead time than your competitors. Rather than, hey, we're going to release the product today, tomorrow, somewhere from, somewhere, <laughs> some, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to mention where it is, but tomorrow, so people know what it is and a copy of the line. And everything, hardware, software, firmware, everything, right? So, the first thing we would like to discuss is the Zigru value proposition. What is our value to our customer? What is our value to you, to the industry? So think about it, you know, designing a chip SOC takes really, really long, a lot of time, mm. you know, and a lot of people. Mm. And when you're not designing, you still have to keep the team. You can't let them go and say, I'm hire them next time, right? No, you can't. Mm. So here we change it, change it using mm. the chiplet approach. Mm. What do you do? You, you give a component selection. Mm. You give a project timeline, hey, man, I want this, right? And you give what is approximately sales volume I have for my product? And working with Zigru, going through Zigru technology, using our tools and our services, we really will get your custom check in three months or less. Depends on what kind of components you pick. Some components will be quicker, some components might be slightly slower. And after that three months, you'll get a very high quality programmable SLC. It's customized for your needs. So comparing to whatever it is today, you know, you need through millions of dollars, one to two years to develop an SLC. It is three months or even less. And upfront research cost is way much lower. It's not millions of dollars. It's in place of tens of thousands, something like that. So first, I'll discuss a couple of technology, terminology here that we're going to discuss about today. Zip. It stands for Zglue Integration mm. Platform. <laughs> it's a Zglue technology and process for mm. custom chip. Mm. But actually, we also call it the you know final chip zip as well. For example, this is a zip. Mm. It packs seven SOCs inside, seven chiplets mm. inside. <clears throat> and Smart Fabric. Mm. Smart Fabric is a is a chip that's designed by Zglue. It's an active programmable. Silicon interposer. Mm. It's actually the brain or the heart of the entire system. It's mm. heart of the zip. So it controls how the chiplet on the zip is connected. So it's not visible. It's not visible by physical wires. Mm. It is controlled by a logic. Mm. So nobody can see how your system is connected, how your system is configured. Mm. And if you don't have the logos on your chiplets, people don't even know what components you're using. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Another thing is chip builder. Chip builder is software. Mm -hmm. So it's a Zigru chip design software. It's online. Mm -hmm. And the target is to enable fast time to market. So let's get that introduced. You can spend maybe 60, mm -hmm. uh, one to two hours to design your chip. Mm -hmm. And then say, hey, submit. The Zigru team will come to work with you to get your chip manufactured. Another thing is Omni chip is basically a reference design we, again, we made you know, at the beginning of the year. It's basically this one I just mentioned. Mm. And chiplets, mm -hmm. I guess everybody is familiar with the chiplets here. So, right, it's a functional small chip, the manufactured chip from a trusted vendor. For example, it could from Toshiba, it could come from Renesas, from ST Micron mm -hmm. or TI. It is manufactured already. So pick them on the shelf, off the shelf and put them together to make your own SLC. This is basically the chiplet concept, right? Put something that has already been manufactured, it's mature. Mm -hmm. So when you put them together, it's faster to build and easier to test mm -hmm. and have pretty good yield. This is basically the process, how you go through the entire thing with us. So first of all, mm -hmm. you need to decide features of your product. Mm -hmm. What I want to achieve with my product. When you have this in mind, <coughs> you select chips or chiplets. <clears throat> then you can come to a chip build design, you know, basically the online design tool, 
then you start building your own custom SOC or FIP. When it is design submitted, and we have engineers help you review your design together, then it goes to the manufacturer and OSET. By the way, we have the world's biggest OSET working with us. TSMC is manufacturing the smart fabric, which is silicon interposer for us, and the ASE, which is the number one assembly house in the world, is helping us to um, to basically package your chip. And it is guaranteed that the ASE will assemble your chip if you work with us. You submit through us, you know, your design through us, which is uh, really hard. Well, what means are always AT? The, uh, outsource. Oh, outsource. Outsource. What is that? A? Uh, assembly and assembly tech. Okay, also okay. assembly technology. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And after that, when it's manufactured, mm -hmm. right, a zip, mm -hmm. so a hardware development kit, mm -hmm. plus a few samples will be shipped to you. Mm -hmm. And coming with it is also our SDK. But of mm -hmm. course, you can also choose to use your own SDK. Mm -hmm. And you have two options there, right? We'll mm -hmm. talk about why we recommend using our SDK mm -hmm. <coughs> later. <laughs> And after that, you know, when you get this uh, sample system, you can start debug your hardware system and start programming. Mm -hmm. And when that is done, you know, take this off and to put it in your final system. And this is your basically the custom SOC. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of chiplets inside it, rather than one. It looks like one chip, right? Mm -hmm. And but it's actually another one chip. It has mm -hmm. all kinds of heterogeneous functions. Mm -hmm. For example, you can have memory, you can have mem sensor, mm -hmm. you can have Analogs, you can have digital logics, all kinds of different stuff can be packed together to deliver your final SOC. So this is basically a very quick introduction of our Omni chip, the reference design that I just showed. It has seven chips in it. It has a Nordic semiconductor, BOE, uh, MCU, SOC, supports three Bluetooth 5.0. Um, it, it has a Texas Instrument battery charger and a buck regulator for PMU, power management purpose. It has a, a optical sensor for PPG for a maximum. And it has a temperature sensor you know, for people to uh, you know, monitor the temperature, body temperature, environment temperature. You know, it depends on where you put the contacts at. It also has a magnetometer from Bosch. And it has an cube accelerator and it has a 32 kilohertz you know, oscillator. So comparing to this, right, they currently is 12 by 12 millimeter in size and 1.1 millimeter in thickness. Mm -hmm. So comparing to the quarter, it's much well, pretty small, very small. And coming very soon, you know, uh, end of this month, we'll have an LGA package, mm. which is even smaller. Mm. And the lead time for this is pretty low. Mm. And it's four weeks or less to get samples. Excuse me. Yes. Can I, can I ask one question? Uh, is, there is a listing, is it just an uh, example, or currently you have uh, only the. the uh, example, example. This is just an example, just a reference example. design. So you have a lot more choice. I will just demo in, you know, in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. So I will show you how many chip flags, how many MCU, how many CPUs you can select. But the library is keep growing, mm. you know. At that time, we can only support one MCU. Now we have uh, a lot more than one. How many we support? Four, or maybe? I don't remember. What's many more MCUs right right now? Yeah. yeah. So you will see the library keep expanding mm. from 20 to 100 to mm. 400 to 800 to 1,000. Mm. So the more chiplets we have, the more combination you can create. So when the library reaches something like, say the chiplets is something like, and or something. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, you can create endless mm -hmm. you know, combination. Uh, one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if, we, if we choose the certain chip on, on that list, and in your factory, mm -hmm. uh, you, you are self make a chip by yourself or buy from our Nordic or Texas? We also make, uh, the chip we make is not uh, not competitor of any of these. It's basically a system manager chip. Mm -hmm. So it takes care of some of the power management, mm -hmm. takes care of how the system is connected together, and also takes care of your security. Mm -hmm. For example, if somebody wants to attack to get the content out of your flash, right? 
it either has to go through your MCU CPU or it has to probe your mm -hmm. probe your um, chip. You can probe use our use our technology because you have to try to open when you open it, everything is damaged. So it has to go through the MCU. So for example, we can uh, we can implement uh, let's say a monitor in mm -hmm. our silicon interposer, and when it detects abnormal activities on any of the chips, it can disconnect it. It completely power it off. So you can no longer get any information out of it. You cannot even connect to it. That, like the PCB, right? It, when it's manufactured, you can do whatever you like, as long as you don't break the system. But for us, let's say the silicon interposer, if it detects abnormal behavior, Sorry, I think you are doing something weird. Mm -hmm. I will disconnect you. I will block you from access. Mm -hmm. Then you can no longer access anything. Mm -hmm. It just float everything. And this will also be discussed, you know, in our future demo. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you. Hey, we click something. We power on something. We can power on one chip. Power off one chip. Particular chip. So when you power it off, then game over. You can't do any hack. Okay. <laughs> so we have all kinds of different levels of engagement. <laughs> you can get our uh, reference design. Mm -hmm. You can get our, You can make a custom chip mm -hmm. using our pre-validated library, mm -hmm. or you can build a full custom chip. So basically, mm -hmm. say, hey, I want to use my own SOC, my own CPU, my mm -hmm. own graphics, my own everything. Make a chip for me. Mm -hmm. It's also available. For all of these, you know, of course, this is the easiest and the lead time is the shortest. The only thing that's missing from it is you don't have any freedom to pick your chip because it's already a reference design. Mm. We already made it for you. Mm. And we don't have the hardware and firmware review for this option because it's already reviewed. Mm. It's guaranteed to work. But for both of these options, right. you can do, you have all the options, all the service column here. So you can do chipless selection by yourself. You can do your schematic, mm. and by the way, the schematic is only available to you. Nobody else will be able to access it. And whenever you're done, we'll provide hardware and firmware review with you to make sure the thing, everything is going to work fine. And we'll also provide a programming, uh, provide a development kit, so you can do a lot of um, programming, both for soft uh, software and hardware, from this development kit. And we'll also demo a little bit in today's workshop. And it has to be tested for its reliability and you can do go scale, you know, go mass manufacture with us very quickly. And we also help you to, don't help you, we also does the chip like supply chain management. So for example, if you have seven chips in your package SOC, right? Originally you need to deal with multiple distributors or multiple vendors take care of that. Now we take care of it for you. You only need to work with us to get a final deal. So simplify your supply chain. And last is the lead time. Of course, lead time could vary. These two are pretty quick, but if you're using a complete full customer chip, it might take 12, up to 12 uh, weeks. Unless, you know, you're using something that's pretty standard, pretty straightforward, and it could, could be quicker. But of course, if you're using something that's really complicated, that could make a different mm. case, right? So now we talk about what makes ZIP unique. Mm. This is basically a little bit hardware technology overview. Jawad is going to give you a deep dive into the hardware technology. So these are the most you know, uh, most uh, important mm. Mm. Uh, features. So fast time to market. Mm. It's easy for you to design your SOC and much quicker mm. you know, to get the stuff out. Smaller size. Why is that? Because mm. the chiplex itself is using all kinds of smallest package. It's pretty much the same size of your die. So you put the dice together, you don't need to deal with a lot of, mm. let's say, currently if you deal with WLCSP on a PCB, it's quite complicated. It really requires a very thick PCB, maybe 10 layer, 12 layer, or something, a lot of blind years, right? But with our technology, it's all done. You don't need to deal with this kind of complexity. This our technology is designed for that, designed for this small package. And also lower power. Why is lower power? Because we have a patent 
that's called power sharing where you can turn off all the chip that's not being used. It's not just turn off like today, it's power gating. It's turning off everything, turning off, you're cutting off the power supply to your power ground line, cutting off the power supply to your signal line so there's no back powering, there's no leakage at all. Essentially, you see zero electrons flowing into that device. We'll also discuss that later. Smart fabric. What is inside our smart fabric? Smart fabric is basically the heart of our zip. It manages the connectivity and the powers of the entire system. So we have active you know, components, like we, I just said. So what it has is it has the power management, mm. it has a lot of integrated um, resistance, mm. it has also, <coughs> it can also support small capacitance. So programmability, mm. you can program your system using code mm. instead of using metal wire. Mm. So if you find something wrong, mm. you can change your code to change your system mm. to make it right mm. instead <coughs> of risking. Dynamic. What dynamic means here is we can, you mm. know, there is a, a there is an algorithm background mm. running, you know, running in the background. Mm. It helps you to take care of how signals is going to different directions. Uh, it will you can you can change it on the dev kit, mm. and this is what we call it kind of dynamic. Mm. It's no longer hard printed on a PCB or on a stick or something. It's programmable. But of course, I also need to mention a little bit of that not everything is programmable. If, if something is really, really sensitive, for example, your IF signal, better don't go through the programmability. Uh, so here is a basic thing say, what is integrated into our smart fabric? So we integrate pull up, pull down resistors, capacitor, a little bit mm -hmm. small, uh, some small capacitors, and that's more than 30 passives integrated. And we have PMIC. For example, boost and LDOs. We're also adding buck regulators as well. So moving forward, very likely for your system, you don't need an external power management IC. It also has integrated I/O uh, controllers. It, for example, the LED driver. It also integrates level translators. It can you can run you know different chips at different power level. For example, you can run this at 3.3, run this at 1.8, and there will be a level shifter connecting this and that. It also has GPL expanders. If you are limited on a GPL, you know you can expand it either from two to four or three to eight. Right so like, like a super super smaller uh, breadboard or the uh, intelligent breadboard uh, and super super extremely small. Smart smart smart, smart super small breadboard. breadboard. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And you can route analog and digital signals. Mm, 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 mm. How about the, the passive component? The passive component here is basically the pull down pull up resistance. Mm -hmm. and if you want something at 1% accuracy, we mm -hmm. can do it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. This is limited by, by physics. Mm -hmm. It's not limited by engineering mm -hmm. because the, uh, the, the silicon resistor itself is something around 10%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can't really do very accurate resistance. Mm -hmm. But for all the pull up, pull down, you have a lot of pull up, pull down resistance mm -hmm. in your system. Mm -hmm. so it all can be absorbed, can be taken care of by this. How about crystal resonator for? Good for question. Coke, coke, coke very good question. So, crystal, uh, it depends on what kind of, what is the PPM, what is the accuracy you need. So for the wireless connectivity, it really requires very, very high accurate crystals. Mm -hmm. And those things, we still recommend using external crystal mm -hmm. because you know, and it, it, a little bit wrong could make it the complete system break down. Mm -hmm. But for digital systems, mm -hmm. if you don't really mm -hmm. do those wireless, mm -hmm. you can you can you, you can request and we can provide it. Mm -hmm. How about the one hundred PPA? One hundred PPA. Can we provide one hundred PPA? And there are chiplets available. Yeah, there are chiplets available. There are chiplets available for that. Mm -hmm. oh. So the power system, you know, what we want to do is maximize the battery life. 
So when it's in shutdown or standby mode or shipping mode, we can turn off everything that's not necessary. And eliminate load switches, as I mentioned. So if you want to turn off a system on the PCB board, you put a lot of load switches there, right? <laughs> it's already integrated here. And you can customize all kinds of your architecture you know, through programmable routing. Mm -hmm. You can also, you know, in case, okay, this is not recommended though, but in case you already ship your product mm -hmm. and if in millions of units, and you find, okay, mm -hmm. my goodness, there's a bug, mm -hmm. hardware bug, routing bug, mm -hmm. what I do, so then you have to recall them. Mm -hmm. But it is possible to do an OTA fix using mm -hmm. our technology. Mm -hmm. So this is how we achieve the long battery life. Mm -hmm. so this is traditional approach. Mm -hmm. You only plug a gate, you know, it, but there's kind of current pass mm -hmm. somewhere on uh, a signal line. We turn off everything. Mm -hmm. And Jawad will give you more you know, details on technical mm -hmm. spec. Mm -hmm. so this is basically the typical engage flow. Let's say if we decided to work together, how we engage with each other. So first of all is signing NBA. It's a pretty standard business practice. Mm -hmm protect both you know, parties, IPs from both parties, or uh, even multiple parties. And submit triplet product definition, let's make sure you know it's doable. You don't want to submit something like okay, it's completely out of the scope. And preliminary de zip design. Now current ET is one week, but when our tool becomes more and more mature, we expect to come down. A statement of the work, what we want to do, what we want to, you know, make for both parties to understand each other better. Of course, this can be in parallel, right? You don't need to do one at a time. You can, you can do a couple of things together. And after that, when both parties are clear, okay, this is what we want to make, right? This is the custom SOC. Manufacture it, and it will be sample production. And after that, we, everything is good. It goes to mass production. Sample production is probably in tens, hundreds, um, volume, mass production with maybe 10K, 100K, even millions. So let us know how we can help you, mm -hmm. how we can be in, of any use to you. Mm -hmm. So we provide the cutting edge 2.5D integration. Mm -hmm. And we also provide the latest and greatest chiplet mm -hmm. collections. And we also help you to miniaturize your size and potentially do cost reduction. Cost reduction for the competitive SOC is for sure. And we might even do better than SIP and uh, um, PCB. PCB we don't know, but potentially, right? Mm -hmm. And also we, uh, we can provide a lot of design and industry expertise in design, including both hardware and software. What you get is differentiated products, products that stand out, nobody else you know, knows Hey, how, how do these guys m make this thing, right? With only one chip. Mm. I don't know how they make this, right? Mm. People don't understand that. Mm. And short time to market compared mm. to SOC. And great adaptability and scalability. Mm. You can do anything, you know, all kinds of different combinations. Mm. And from tens of samples to mm. millions of units mass production, mm. we can all help you mm. go through. All right, this part, I think I'm, I'm gonna leave it to Jawad to discuss in the next um, presentation. So any questions? Uh, how about the scalability of the making of chips? I think in this approach is uh, making 10 or 1,000 is uh, better, but uh, more big volume is a uh, need more proprietary chip or some kind of. That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. So it depends, mm -hmm. right, what is your um, what is your fixed value? Yeah, fixed value. For example, mm -hmm. if you already make thousands of mm -hmm. units with us, mm -hmm. and let's say you foresee mm -hmm. tens of millions, mm -hmm. you want to make a SOC. Mm -hmm. But of course, from the samples to the SOC, there was a long lead time. Yes, very long lead time. Long lead time. Very long lead time, mm -hmm. right? So, do you want to wait? Oh, until yes. the SOC is manufactured. Mm, mm. So somebody else might already fill the market mm, section. Mm, so mm. you don't have the lead position in this mm. place. Or you want to ship immediately. Mm, mm. And while at the same time, you mm. can think about based on my production, right? Mm, maybe mm, I want to do SOC mm, or maybe you want to do something.
something else. Mm -hmm. And by the way, SLC can only do uh, homogeneous yeah, integration. Yeah, 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 yeah. This thing is heterogeneous integration. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it can provide a lot of things mm -hmm. that SLC cannot provide. Yes, and probably you also uh, produce to the uh, big volume chipset, right? Yes. Like, uh, okay, for example, I uh, uh, I managing uh, my startup company. Mm -hmm. I going to Kickstarter. My project very succeed. I have to ship to my product of the around three thousand. I order to you, and yeah. in this three thousand is uh, uh, selling out only uh, one day. Okay, I order to the ten uh, k or million k. Uh, you also making the more big volume plan and also still running the. Uh, 3K plan and sort of seamless to from to Z group uh, in this uh, Z group idea to proprietary chipset to going through. Precisely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. when people, you mm. know, trust me, a lot of people is mm. monitoring from mm. the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, they yeah. find something is mm. really, really popular, mm. Mm. they'll buy your product and crack mm. it down mm. and mm. copy and make their own version of it. Oh, yes, that's a, that's a very uh, understandable approach. Yes. Mm. Mm. So, for example, if you have this, when mm. people open it, mm. what? How, how can I do it with one chip? Mm, 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 mm. What, what is it doing? What is this chip doing? Right? We can mm, remove the logo, put mm, your logo on. Mm, mm, what what these guys are doing? Mm, 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 <laughs> some smart people might be mm, some people might be smart enough to crack it open mm, the package. Mm, hey, what are these? Mm, right? Oh, they figure out. Okay, let's Zigru manufacture mm, this. Go to Zigru. What what will tell them? Sorry, mm, this, this is somebody else's IP. Mm, we can't leak it to you. Mm, we can't sell it to you. You go ahead and find somebody else mm, to do all stuff. Mm, mm, mm. After all, you design a different system with us. Right? Does that answer the question? Uh, I want to know about the packaging variation. Uh, packaging variation meaning? Uh, chip variation. Uh, SOP. Oh. SOP. Uh, SOP. Do, do you have any QAP or SOP package? Uh, well, what kind of package? LGA, USUFM, and mm -hmm. Japan. Mm -hmm. we, we also have BGA. Oh, yeah, we also have BGA. Mm -hmm. BGA, LGA, USM, Japan. Mm -hmm. I see. But if you want something else, you know, we can potentially discuss if we can provide that mm -hmm. as well. Okay, thank you.